Sin City is preparing for a surge in Chinese tourism as the first nonstop flights from Beijing to Las Vegas start today. Tourism officials are hoping to cash in on gamblers. New travelers could bring in an estimated $33.5 million more into the city per year. Our John Blackstone, lucky enough to be at the Lucky Dragon Hotel and Casino with more. Lucky Dragon Hotel and Casino isn't so much a case of East meets West as East comes West at the end of the Las Vegas Strip. What we're doing here is trying to create something that is authentically for our Asian guests. <laughs> uh, it's a, a very steady and uh, growing group of customers that come here. Dave Jacoby, the chief operating officer, says while other casinos on the Strip have long courted high rollers from Asia, Lucky Dragon is aiming to win over China's growing middle class which is now beginning to travel. It's the largest growing international travel market on the planet, and we want to be part of that. It's the first new casino to open in six years. The hotel is betting the new nonstop flights from Beijing to Las Vegas will bring a surge in tourism. According to the Department of Commerce, in 2015, nearly 2.6 million Chinese travelers visited the U.S. By 2020, that number is estimated to grow to 5 million. While other Vegas hotels have lavish theaters featuring famous entertainers, the hottest acts at Lucky Dragon are in the show kitchen. Here they make authentic Chinese cuisine, which often bears little resemblance to the Chinese food Americans are accustomed to. It's very authentic. Yes. Instead of showgirls, this casino has dragons. The dragon is our, our centerpiece of the resort here. Uh, obviously Plenty of dragons. They're a symbol of good fortune in Chinese culture. The casino bar is eight-sided, also a sign of good fortune. What are the odds that at any other casino in Las Vegas, your Bloody Mary would come with a chicken foot? But since this is considered a delicacy in China, may as well take a chance. Mm. But instead of cocktails, Chinese often prefer tea. So the hotel offers a traditional tea service. You're from China? Oh, absolutely, yes. Winnie Gao now lives in Las Vegas. The style, design, and people are so nice for us. <laughs> the Department of Commerce estimates Chinese travelers spend six to seven thousand dollars per person per trip, ranking the Chinese as the highest spending group of international visitors. They spend a lot more money on shopping and retail while they're here, and a lot of that is high-end luxury shopping. Lucky Dragon isn't alone in trying to cash in on the Chinese travel boom. A Malaysian company has plans to develop Resort World Las Vegas, an enormous Asian-themed hotel and casino complex scheduled to open in 2019. While Lucky Dragon is designed to attract Asian tourists in particular, the hotel also figures other visitors to Vegas will find some adventure here. Maybe they don't want the American Chinese food, they want the Chinese Chinese food, and, and they want the ability to step a little out of their comfort zone and, and have a, an experience. While much about the venue is authentically Asian, one thing is authentically Vegas. The casino is happy to take money from anyone.